I'm just so upset with myself. I have not worked out, you guys, since New Year's Day. You can't tell me this is not a cute shoe. Barista blue. I think it is extremely flattering on the back side. If there's a sock from an activewear brand, I'm gonna get it. Oh, okay, we're done. Super simple y'all I think I'm getting sick so I made a oxy greens and the pineapple flavor I mix it with some orange juice to get some vitamin C and I'm not the hungriest but my stomach is like flipping and turning so I just have some Dave's killer white bread with earth balance and then some strawberry jelly hopefully having something hot will help I have like a like a dryish throat I don't know so I'm gonna do some peppermint tea As remember i made and meal prepped my chicken fajitas in my last vlog so definitely check that out for the recipe i made quite a bit and i already had this yesterday and it was super good it wasn't too spicy though so i'm gonna make myself three chicken fajitas and then i'm gonna have a side of corn on the cob and i'm probably gonna add some avocado to my fajitas as well just to get some more veggies in light we got three chicken fajitas some corn on the side and some guacamole so i'm gonna enjoy this hopefully i'll feel better having like a proper meal on my stomach because i feel like i need to go to sleep but this meal might just put me to sleep after i eat it
here, huffing and puffing, what's good? I didn't know if I was going to make it out of the shower today. I am not feeling my best right now, I'm not going to hold you. I'm feeling very slow. And I'm out of breath, just going downstairs to get a package. So, I'm just feeling so... I don't even know. Like, I'm just so upset with myself. I'm supposed to be in the gym, hitting my little rings consecutively. I have not worked out, you guys, since New Year's Day. I attempted to go on New Year's Eve, and that was just a fail. So I told myself, like, I have to go because I don't want to let myself down. I want to start the New Year out the right way. And, you know, I'm proud of myself for that. That was my last leg day. Today is, like, the 10th. It could be the 11th. Like, I don't even know. I feel like I've been so stationary. It's the 10th of January. I am just not motivated. <laughs> I can't figure out why and the thing is I woke up today and like last night excited I even picked out like look at this <laughs> it's crazy because last night I even picked out my gym outfit like I was so excited to put this fit on and then go do a workout to kind of get back into my routine and figure out what exactly that is going to be for me but I woke up feeling kind of sick like your girl just can't catch a break and then also I've just been feeling a little bit of gym anxiety I had briefly mentioned that when I was leaving my last workout on New Year's about the gyms being really busy really crowded like I felt like a newbie in my own gym and I've been going there for months and I think it's just a mix of feeling like everything is occupied there's just people on top of people but also like when you go to the gym you know you have like your routine right you tend to go around the same time you tend to see the same faces of people that you never really talk to so in a way it's like a familiar space a familiar energy but there's just so many new faces on top of people on top of people that it's overwhelming me and that was a part of me like kind of falling off track of being consistent and then on top of that it's winter and I am sorry but I don't thrive on gloomy days cold days rainy days snow days <laughs> I it's just not motivating and I had this realization like this is when motivation is non-existent and your discipline kicks in you get up out of routine out of habit you show up for yourself even on the days that you don't want to but I haven't even had the discipline to make up for the lack of the motivation so I feel like I'm just stuck in this like sadness when it comes to like my fitness journey and on top of that like mentally I want to work out I want to go to the gym I want to get a nice pump but physically my body is just tired like it wants to rest it wants to go slow it wants to sleep in and it might be because I haven't been eating enough food, you know what I'm saying, to really fuel my heavy leg days and my heavy workouts that thinking about working out puts like a big toll on me and I can't really do my best. I can't lift my best. I can't be in the gym as long as I want because I just don't have that energy. So I don't know. I'm just stuck in like this sad spot with my fitness journey right now and it's like the worst time ever because it's all about like getting our goals together, starting fresh, entering this new year space, but I really do thrive when it's hot outside, when it's sunny, and I don't know, like, it's just depression. I don't even know how else to explain it, but I did want to turn the camera on today because one little thing excited me, which was a delivery. I'm actually getting another package later. I ordered some new gym shoes because I didn't have any like cardio shoes. I wear Converse all the time, you guys know. So that's what I like to lift in and I wanted to get like an actual sneaker that I could do my walks with, but also a cute lifestyle shoe that I could style with a lot of my activewear because I live in activewear. The only thing I wanted to do after I got out of the shower was put some cocoa butter on, do my skincare routine for the night because I'm not leaving the house and put on a cozy in the house fit so I'm wearing Gymshark today code Lache will get you guys 10% off at checkout I live in their um training crewnecks and the men's mesh shorts such a staple they are like literally so comfy I can't wait for it to get warm so I can wear them outside 
wanted a pair of these shoes. I attempted to buy them earlier last year, but I got the wrong size. I guess they run really big. But I decided to go for some New Balances because New Balance shoes are so comfortable for me. They fit my wide foot and I have bunions. <laughs> so cute, I know. I really do love these shoes, which are the 9060s. I believe this is the Sea Salt colorway. And they are so comfy. They remind me a lot of my like Adidas like Yeezys and these are also extremely cushiony and comfortable So I think I'm a New Balance girl. I don't know something about Nike Like gym sneakers for cardio just don't fit my feet the way that I would like them to and honestly I don't really wear Adidas outside of Yeezy and um, what Other brand obviously Converse is a flat shoe, right? So I wanted something that had some cushion to it that was kind of like a dad shoe. So hopefully this is in focus. Um, these are the 530s and they are a unisex fit. They did recommend going half a size down, but I didn't. So hopefully these fit good because they are super cute and they're also kind of like selling out really quickly. So let me unbox these. <gasps> they are so cute. Now, I'm a neutrals girl, okay? Ooh, she is a cutie. She is a cutie. So these are stunning. I believe it's the sea salt colorway. They have nude details on them beige in a lot of ways they do remind me of the 90s 60s with like the suede detailing to them i think these are such a cute play on the most popular color which i believe is like a navy so i wear a lot of beiges and neutrals and browns i thought i would get a lot of use out of these even wearing with black like an all black outfit i think would be cute has 530 on them this is what the sole looks like they're obviously not as chunky of a shoe as the 9060s so i thought these would be much more appropriate for the gym the 9060s are more of a lifestyle shoe for me I don't really work out or lift in them, and I definitely don't like doing cardio. They're very bulky, but these are a lot more narrow here. My feet aren't the widest, but they're definitely not narrow. It's just because they're flat, I guess. So I believe they have like arch support in them. And I'm really just here for like the beige and the white. Like you can't tell me this is not a cute shoe. I was like, girl, I picked out my outfit because I knew I was getting these shoes and I have my Gymshark cozy socks like scrunched down like you cannot tell me this wouldn't have been so cute and i was gonna pair it with these gymshark vital seamless leggings in the new mauve color like literally stop it so i guess i'm gonna have to save this outfit for the day that i feel good enough to actually work out but i'll link these leggings below too it's such a good staple everyday color so yeah girl these are the new shoes that i got for the gym i We'll put a sock on and try it on and see if they are, I guess, like true to size or what. I'll let you guys know. Y'all can't tell me these are not giving what the scrunch socks from Gymshark. Like, please. <laughs> this is definitely a good fit. Honestly, I don't really recommend sizing down half a size or whatever. But that's just me. It's literally like walking on a cloud. So it's definitely less bulky, like I was saying. But it's like the man version, the female version, even though like this is a men's shoe, but this is unisex. Stunning. Stunning. They have different laces though. Yeah, this was a good choice. I'm really happy about my purchase. So I only got one outfit, like I said, but I think I was the most excited for their socks that they came out with because these are literally the same ones as the Gymshark ones that I showed you guys except Gymshark doesn't have this many options and these ones came in a three pack so I was a little bit confused about the sizing because it was like extra small slash small and then there was like a large slash extra large and it didn't have any type of sizing recommendations so I went for the extra small small and this set came with white socks, which again, you can't have enough. 
black, which will look super cute with all black outfits. And these ones are like the same ribbing as my Gymshark ones, but it has the Buff Bunny logo embroidered in instead of like the Gymshark tag at the top. So I think these are super cute. It's still very subtle branding where I feel like I'll mix these and match them with other brands. And then it also came with a gray pair. So all of your basics, which I think is super nice, they honestly look like they will fit. Helpfully, like I said, I have a nine size foot, women's nine US. But someone said that they stretch. Oh yeah, these fit perfect. Jeez, they really should have put like a size guide because I feel like nine is on the bigger scale, right? So I'm really excited about this. And then I knew I would love them, so I got them in the neutral colorway so again these ones came with white and then these two like beigey colors so a lighter beige and then a darker um, like a mocha color and then as a color comparison this is the Gymshark one so literally I'm good on the scrunch socks like literally you can't tell me like that's like the most beautiful sorry <laughs> so Gymshark Buff Bunny it's like I have every scale socks <laughs> the activewear set I went for is in the color barista blue so I went for the legacy six inch biker shorts because anything smaller than a six inch I'm going to get chafing and my booty cheeks are going to come out. They're going to roll on me. This color is stunning and I want to show you what it looks like with other similar shades from other brands. But this is the Nubre fabric. I'm sorry, Nubri. I don't know why I said it. This is, I believe, is this Evening Blue from Gymshark? I'll do a flat lay in a second. But I thought it would look really good with some of my Gymshark Evening Blue pieces. There's no scrunch on the Legacy pieces, but they do have like that butterfly stitching to really help shape and give the illusion of rounder, more curvier glutes. There is a seam here, which is nice with extra material in the end seam. This fabric being that it is brushed, it's stretchy, it's soft, it is really easily able to mold so you can kind of form it to whatever length you're comfortable with. So I'm going to try this on for you guys and then I matched it with this bra. It's the Revolution sports bra in Barista Blue. I sized up to a medium for this because it looked like it was very full coverage and it wasn't adjustable. So I've never tried this before and I didn't want it to cut or dig into me so I'm a little bit nervous about this bra. It is a lot of coverage for me. I'm more of like a minimal, like Gymshark minimal style bra. Uh, but I thought this set for some reason would be so cute in the springtime for like an athleisure set with like my new sneakers, some scrunch socks, going for a walk with my dog, grabbing a coffee. Like this type of material for me is athleisure. Like I want to look cute in a set and maybe I'll do Pilates or something and I'll go for a coffee after or I'll run my errands in it. I don't really do workouts in them and that's just because I have a lot of legacy leggings. I don't really have the shorts so maybe this will change my mind on it. Um, cardio day I think these would be nice because it has a longer inseam and again I don't like to do cardio on shorts, short shorts really because I don't like my thighs to touch. So if it's a biker and it's long enough um, hopefully I don't really have that issue with these. So I'll be right back. I'm gonna try this on and we're gonna see what I feel about the bra mostly. There is like um it's like a longer lined bra, let me just tell you. So there's like a thick one inch band at the bottom with a thicker seam, and that's why I wanted to size up because I didn't want this to be like suffocating my ribs. And I felt like if it was stretchy, it would kind of stretch with me. So yeah, and I didn't want these straps to cut in and create bulging on my back rolls because we're bulking so you already know catch me when I'm cutting if I ever get to that this is the set super cute barista blue y'all know I love muted out shades give me some color but tone it down make it wearable it's giving like a denim shade it's giving evening blue from Gymshark it's giving slate blue from honor active it's giving french blue from alphalete 
Um, let's talk about this bra. I think as an athleisure fit, the medium sizing up is a really good call. I have the Revolution Holter bra. It's much more short lined, so think of it where it wouldn't have like this band at the bottom, right? I get mine a small. Fits amazing. But because this bra is longer lined and it has this thick seam here, it's tight. There's not a lot of stretch. It can definitely put pressure on your rib area. So keep that in mind. I also feel like I have a wider built back. So sizing up in this, being that these straps here are not adjustable, definitely worked in my favor. I feel like I have, you know, full coverage on the sides where I'm not spilling out. My lats are nice and tucked away. That's what I really love about Heidi's designs is she knows how to make a bra like really flatter the lats where you don't have like a bulge or like a roll spilling out over the side. So she killed it with this style. I have this in the Holter bra and I feel like I like the Holter better just because the caging in the back is just doing a lot for me. I don't love a whole lot of full um oh you can't even see a whole lot of full coverage but because I sized up, I don't mind it because this is kind of sitting loose on my skin, right? It's not like cutting in or digging in or creating rolls that are not necessary. So I do recommend sizing up in this bra. However, I don't recommend sizing up if you plan on using this for like upper body because it gapes. <laughs> if I were to do bent over rows or something, even like some lap pull downs going up, it creates extra loose fabric. I think wearing it as athleisure in a medium works for me. Going for a casual walk outside, wearing for a cardio day is good, but it's definitely kind of compressing at this seam. So take that with what you will depending on your body type. I also don't really love longer lined tops because I have a shorter torso, so that's why I prefer the regular like Holter version of this but if I wanted to tuck it in I'm gonna see if I can will it look seamless I can't really tell I have to look at, uh, at the footage when I edit this back but if you can wear it this way and it's versatile then I think that's amazing so oh, you can't see anything because it's tag I think it would look so much more flattering if it wasn't so full coverage, but if you are running errands, it is nice to be able to just pop this down, right? And have full coverage. So that's the top. These are in the size small for the Legacy. They definitely have Campbell. <laughs> I had to put a liner on and there's no issues there um, when it comes to that. I really like the Legacy fabric. If you guys are used to it, then it's the same being that this is not scrunch I think it is extremely flattering on the back side and you could make these totally look like a four inch short if you wanted to just by adjusting where you want the inseam to kind of fall it's not cutting or digging into my legs at all I do kind of have them scrunched up a little bit but to me, they don't really feel like they hit at like six inches. I think it depends on how big your glutes are, how thick your thighs are. That's definitely going to eat up a lot of that material um, that you have for the inseam length. But again, I feel like you should totally go for the six inches because it's just more, it's just more versatile. I'm not going to be rolling. I think I would do leg day in these for like some good mornings. I don't really see this rolling if anything it might slide up the band is not like any different material it's the same material all over so you're not going to get any extra compression up here but with my torso being smaller it tends to roll down like this when i like scrunch my waist i want to give you guys a little color comparison something new this is Gymshark's Evening Blue, which in my opinion is a dead match, and I have like a lot of Evening Blue pieces that I can mix and match with this set, so love that. This would be Alphalete's French Blue. This one has marl detail to it, but also in my opinion, it's very similar to French Blue. And then this is Honor Active's Slate Blue. 
again, literally the same. So it just depends on the fit and the feel that you are looking for because honestly, all of these fabrics and materials are completely different. I would say the most comparable would be Alphalete versus the Honor Active, whereas Gymshark is a ribbed, thicker, more compressive fabric. And then the Buff Bunny is softer, it's more brushed, it's giving Lululemon luxe vibes. Very simple, minimal, could be worn in or outside of the gym. No scrunch, so I feel like in my opinion it is very timeless. Same thing with like the Evening Blue, there's no scrunch. This one just has like a fleck print to it, so... That's my little review on this set. Let me know what you girls think about it and if you will be picking it up. It's still in stock as of right now. It also comes in this beautiful um, brown color called Cold Brew and I'm thinking about getting it. I just don't know if I'm sold on picking up this bra. Like I like this bra but I don't know if I would want to get it again or if I should just like wait around for them to drop something else because this is just very... She's very tight around, ooh, but she's flattering. See, she be covering up the rolls. You already know, shout out to Buff Bunny for that, okay? Yeah. <laughs>